with its lofty skyscrapers, modern architecture and the hustle bustle of commercial activity, the buzzing metropolis of Bangkok serves as the backdrop for the Architecture plus Design and Sera Awards 2013. Firstly, congratulations to Architecture plus Design. This is the 10th year that these awards are being facilitated. So it's wonderful to have national awardees as well as international awardees in our environment over here. And as Thailand, we are absolutely blessed to be hosting this event. We are happy to be a part of this 10th Architectural Awards. The response this year was tremendous. And surely this will uh, help in increasing uh, the, particip the participation in the years to come. This cycle, we have had the maximum number of partic participants from uh, all over India, small practices, big practices, and uh, these awards have been able to inculcate a very healthy spirit uh, in the profession. The 10th edition of the awards kicked off in New Delhi with an exhaustive selection process to search for the best in the architecture world. The awards saw participation from 600 enthusiastic entrants from all over India and the Southeast Asia region. Animated discussions and careful deliberations marked the week-long process of methodical and comprehensive debate among industry stalwarts to select final winners across the six categories. This award uh, is very important to the country and also to the architectural profession um, because this will encourage uh, the young architects uh, to come up with innovative design and also something of international value. I think first of all, uh, what, what is nice is that it uh, brings together um, architecture from all over the country because there are entries, it's an open competition, so there are entries from all over. So I think it's a very good way of people seeing what is happening up north, down south, east, west, all over the place. The lively spirit of interaction and understanding continues in Bangkok with stimulating conversations and a showcase of the winning works, all leading up to a celebration of the participants' passionate architectural journey. A warm welcome to the award ceremony of the 10th cycle of the Architecture Plus Design and Sera Awards 2013. I feel it's only fair for us to applaud the team at the awards secretariat for their persistent enthusiasm and their completion of a decade of hard work with these awards. This year, we are very happy to be in Bangkok for this very significant event in architecture. This evening is, of course, a very special and cherishable one for all the awardee architects of the Architecture Plus Design and Sera Awards 2013. To boost their spirits further, and those of the fellow professionals, I would request our chief guest, Kun Lekbunang, to please come and share his thoughts with us. Welcome everybody. We are very lucky that uh, we born as a clean slate. Nobody born to be an architect and nobody born to be a lawyer. We choose to be an architect and we choose to be a lawyer. We are even more luckier that we have the Eastern spirituality behind us, you know. It gives us wisdom, and most of all, it gives us something that uh, we shouldn't cling onto the past. We should be ourselves, have our own aloneness, and that is open ways to freedom and creativity. Not only that, we have a cultural heritage, which to me is, it, uh, is the most beautiful heritage in the world, and lastly, we have our moment. We have here and we have now. That is what uh, our root that will bring new architecture, new art, and new beauty. And the world is waiting for each of us to, to show them how beautiful our art and architecture. Thank you very much. I'd now request our guest of honor, Mr. Jatin Das, to be kind enough to address this August gathering. Namaskar. It's wonderful to be here. 
You know, what is very gratifying that when you meet a mathematician or a scientist or an architect or a philosopher anywhere in the world in any period of time, there's a meeting of mind. I, as an artist, had also been a teacher and I'm a little lost in India that such a great country, like when I come to Thailand or Kuala Lumpur or China or Japan, I feel like he was talking about the Eastern world, the Oriental world. Even if you don't understand the language, but the intonations, uh, the body language, uh, the detailing on the furniture, architecture, or music, or painting, there is a fantastic undercurrent which that we share in the whole of the Oriental and the Eastern world. And I think the time has come for introspection and search for identity. I don't mean Indianness. I don't mean Orientalness. I mean, the new things have to come, but has to be built on the cemented foundation of our culture. My request to the architects that they're artists. The architect is the vastukar. Uh, is the, what you call, Vishwakarma. I, I wrote in an introduction 10 years ago that I'm a painter, want to become an artist. It's a very big word to carry. So uh, my request humbly is that we must share, we must interact. Thank you. I now request our special guest, architect Smith Obayawat, President of the Association of Siamese Architects, to please say a few words. Thank you, and good evening, all the guests from India and Malaysia, Singapore, and PP Nong Nong, Stabnik, Nepretet Thai. My experience with architectural and design is in 2009 when I got the award. I feel very honored. Today, I'm the president. And when Mr. Sunit Paul contacted me, they want to come to Thailand as my invite in 2009. I remember the, uh, the, the architecture and design always travel to Malaysia, Singapore, Nepal, Sri Lanka. And I asked Mr. Paul that, why not Bangkok? He said, there's not much response when I contact Thailand. <laughs> And that's the truth, that Thailand is a bit shy, a bit reserved in terms of international exposure. So today, when I became president, I think my big task is somehow make my fellow countrymen exposed to the international arena. So today, you will be in a hall that you walk through, that with another young 13 emerging architects, that they are the future of Thailand. And I invite all of them who sit with you today to experience of how uh, architects' life should be in the future. We cannot keep ourselves in the shelf anymore. Every time we go to the building, people always know who the owners, but they never know who is the architect. So I think it's time for us to tell them that what architect is all about. I think it's now time to shift the focus to the principal players of this award function. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us begin by honoring the golden emerging awardees. I would request Mr. Xavier Kolako, President Media Transasia, and Mr. Atul Sangvi, COO Sarah, to please come up for the presentation of the awards. The Golden Emerging Architect Thailand goes to architect Surya Upana Sri Ratana. He strongly believes in Buddhism and also practices meditation. This influenced him to design and build various religious buildings, temples, and convents 
for communities of Buddhist monks on a voluntary basis. I now request Mr. Piyush Sharma, CEO of Media Trans Asia India, and Mr. Shashi Dharan, Vice President Marketing Sera, to please come up and present the award. The Golden Emerging Architect Malaysia goes to architect David Chan. Architect David Chan is known for his innovative bold statements and experimental approach to design. I request Mr. Sunit Paul and Mr. Smith Ubayawat to please come up for the presentation. The Golden Emerging Architect Sri Lanka goes to architect Palinda Kanangara. He is known for innovative designing, which succeeds in applying a modern architectural statement to his projects. And now shifting to the prestigious Golden Award for Global Contribution in Architecture. This award goes to architect Ole Bormann from the Netherlands. Architect Ole Bormann is currently the creative director at the Shenzhen Biennial for Architecture and Urbanism, prior to which he was the general director at the Netherlands Architecture Institute, Rotterdam. He unfortunately has not been able to attend the function and we will be delivering his trophy at the Netherlands Embassy in New Delhi. Moving on, we now come to the next award, the Hall of Fame Award. Could I request Mr. Jatin Das and Ms. Rasina Oberoi to do the honors? This award has been initiated this year for an architect who has made a definitive impact through his architecture in shaping society and who leaves behind his signature through his work. He has been instrumental in shaping the skyline of Mumbai, Gurgaon, and such other cities. The expert committee unanimously awards this high honor this year to architect Hafiz Contractor. <laughs> Mr. Hafiz Contractor has not been able to make it. However, we have Mr. Nishant Gupta from his office to receive the award on his behalf. The next big award is the prestigious Golden Architect Award for Excellence in Architecture in India. The recipient of this award is architect Shivdat Sharma. He worked as chief architect for ISRO from 1973 to 1980. After this, he began his own practice at Panchkula under the aegis of S.D. Sharma Associates. I must say that I admire and, uh, uh, and appreciate the passion, the sort of at times selfless efforts of architecture plus design and Sira to promote architects, rather provoke architects to do good work. And I don't think there is, can be a, any better method to promote and furthering the card of architecture. This is a message for almost all architects, all of us that we have to decide which way to go because there are many uh, ways, isms, no, the systems, uh, all sort of global influences. But if you have directions, I think our profession can be very, very fruitful in the service of society, which is our prime uh, um, um, responsibility. The question is that simple life or a restrained life is the talk of today. You know, there is nothing like old because now is the time people say, let us step back and see what is a restrained life is, which can sort out all our problems and uh, troubles like the global warming, uh, carbon footsteps, and uh,